All right, boys, we're on to our next game, game five. I need to win like 15, 16. I don't even know how many more rounds I got to win to get to the money. But in your mind, you win the next one. All right, this round I'm playing Ultimate Fire. Now, he has a name like an eight-year-old. But you know, sometimes eight-year-olds can be good at men. Who knows? I've played this guy a couple times on the Mud Head to Head, the Weekend League, everything like that. It's a guy I should beat. I know that going into the game. But I still got to lock in and play, man. All these guys that made this tournament qualify for a reason. And there's a misconception about Madden tournaments. Like, Madden tournament is about being the best Madden player. No, it's not. It's about playing your best games at the right time. You know, putting games together, playing your best, and making sure that you outplay your opponent no matter who it is. It could be somebody that you beat a hundred times in a row. I remember the first major EA ever do Madden 16 and Mutt. I remember I played this fella Jfar, right? He was a good player, but I beat him every single time I matched up on the leaderboards, dominated him. What happened in the tournament? I lost because I didn't play my best game and he played a good game. So a tournament's not about who's the best. It's about who's putting the best games together. So we got to improve on what we did last game and turn up and put a good effort out here. You guys know the drill. Let's get this to a thousand. Also, man, if you guys want to watch me play every single night, Twitch, that link is below. Let me know you're from YouTube. We'll gift you a sub. Come chat with the boys. Come kick it. But let's get into this game. Round five against Ultimate Fire. All right, boys, here we go, man. Off the fire. Feeling pretty good. Feeling locked in. I uh, got to play better than I did last time. You see him coming out here running the ball. Got the Reggie Bush so already. So, like, all right, his team. My, and he doesn't have Raiders jersey. Nice, so, that makes nice, me feel like, nice, okay. Nice, nice, nice. This guy hip. Running a little trips tight end, though. Always tough to play this trips tight end. And we want to go big you fourth down. Attack. You got afraid of him? Big fourth down early in the game. He's five wide. We're going to drop and cover four. Bro, there's no way. Like, cuz. <laughs> oh, my God. I mean, we had a five-yard flat. Do I want him to play a two-yard route? Maybe a little bit better, right? But at the end of the day, it was a five-yard flat. So can I be that mad at it? Good dot right here to Gronk. Uh, he, he's moving the ball pretty well. Uh, for stop. Come on, Getting man. some yards on the Nothing ground. There. I mean. Nothing there. I think he's actually in the wide trip. No, he's in trips tight end here. Yeah, that's right. Underneath. And we're keeping everything in front of us for the most part. You see, we haven't given up a big play yet. Maybe he's a little bit nervous. I always, I always feel like I have an advantage over these kids. Uh, they're going to be more nervous than me. And I, I, I use that. I always remember that, man. Like, anything you do big in life, if you got a big job interview, if you got something like that, remember, like, the other people are nervous too. You know, it's not like they're playing for fun. They're, they're sitting on the edge of their seat panicking as well. But we hold him to three on the first drive in Madden 22. That's a super W. We're just going to dump the ball off to Cordero Patterson. Uh, I love these jerseys, boys. I love them. I love them. Absolutely love them. Uh, you know, like I told you guys before, I grew up cutting trees, outdoors, all that stuff. And Josh Allen over those that love the Lumberjack Hunter jerseys. Big third and four. We dump it off to Jared Cook. Uh, he's running the glitch blitz, the 2 4 5 ah, That's, you know, real popular. It's what I run on defense. And. It's really good you guys you guys want to have order madden turf we have plenty of ebooks on that to help you guys learn how to run that but we're doing pretty good here as i hit the quick out route right there see it open uh this I game is short look at it like i feel like i've been talking for 30 seconds so we're already in two minute warning in the first back. half you know he's running the ball a lot i've completed passes now i gotta start worrying about the clock i don't want to give him the ball back he'll call timeout to make sure he gets the ball back alert 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 I've been going to this bubble down here inside the red zone and gets a touchdown for me. So, we go up 7-3, but he gets a chance to get some points here. I get the ball to half, so I'm feeling good. We play cover four. Great rush for my boys. Everything covered. Get a sack here. Under 40 seconds left. We're going to try to keep him in bounds as we do right there. Uh, 34 seconds. He should not score on me here. He should not. Not enough time left. There it is. Sacked again. He's going to use last time out. So, under 30 seconds. He should not score. And he actually throws this over my, I think, 15-yard flat. So he's close to field goal range. Got to keep him out of bounds. I mean, uh, in the uh, right there. He gets enough for a field goal. So let's try to create a turnover somehow, some way. Oh, we get a sack. And That's a deep play, ref. Let's go. And, and the clock's going to run out on him. Pay attention to the clock. That's nerves. That might be a young kid. And oh, now oh, he just had the best base defense ever, but missed. Now we got a chance to go ahead and get seven, and it'll be fourteen to three. So 
We're feeling good as we roll out and hit that TJ. boy TJ. That's what you do. That's why gets I got his you. feet down. Big play, TJ Hushman's out, and we're in field goal range. I, I've told you guys in videos before, when I'm in field goal range, I kind of start counting that three before I, I get it, you know. So I, I already have, like, you know, ten to, set, ten and to and three back secured. Back involved, you know what I'm saying? The ball up. Like, See, there you bang. Sean Alexander, Sean Alexander, let's go. We got fresh legs. Bring him off the bench. Fresh legs off the bench. Sean Alexander, touchdown, the boys. That's something I like to do in big games. When I feel like Cordero Patterson or my main running back has touched the ball too much, I'm going to go ahead and dump the ball down, uh, put my backup running back in the game, even if it's just taking a hit and giving your, your starting running back a little breather on the bench. And Sean Alexander actually scored for me there. So always remember that, man. If your running back touched the ball, you know, three times in a row, maybe it's time to get some fresh legs in there because then that's when he will fumble. That's when he'll feel slower, uh, things like that. So as he hits another corner route to Shipley. This guy might still have Buccaneers theme team. You know, and it's 14-3 here. Uh, he goes to Gronk. Yeah, Haynes knocked, the, knocked away by Haynes, Haynes right there. Nice. But Haynes played big for me, man. He's been a boss the last month for me. Kill him. Third and six. Oh, come on, man. Give up that underneath route. But come on. him out of the end zone here. Bro, he got like easy. nine yards on that run. Way too much. Hit him. Yeah, what's next? Big third oh, down right yeah. here. You got to keep him out of the end zone. I mean, good run commit, boys. You Man, like what a sh drive. He goes for two. Got to stop this here. Whole team on him. And we do. Knock it away. That's big. And he goes for an onside kick in the third quarter. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm not mad at it. No, you know, I mean, there is no rule. You have up front, like, here's the rule in MCS right now. You can onside kick anytime in the fourth quarter. It doesn't matter what the score is. Stop out of pocket. TJ Hushmanzada again. Boom, inside the ten. Got to score seven here. Put the game away. A little oh base God, action, man. nothing doing too much. We get the little wheel route over there to Court Arrow, Sean Alexander oh, can't get in. Fullback dive, I can't get. Dude, I cannot. I'm gonna kick my football in. I cannot get. It's not even red zone. It's, it's like inches. Now I, I could have right put now. the game away with a touchdown there, but I, you know, I, I'm the favorite in this game. I'm the better player. I want to extend the. I want to shorten the game. You know, you got one drive to get eight points. If you're a superstar and you go down the field here and get eight points on me, we deserve oh to go to overtime. God, man. As he just like, ran slants, hits Mike Evans. So, yeah, this guy definitely has a, a Buccaneers theme team here, which isn't bad. I mean, they had some great DBs and was a really I mean, how is a 20-yard flat playing to the middle of the field? Yeah. There's no way. Like, there's just no way, man. Yeah, I'm just sick I gave that up. He's been running that play a lot. I set my zones just for that play and you know. But we get a free rusher here, Diablo with the big sack. We get a third and twenty. Gotta get off the field here. Slant over the middle. Mike Evans, fourth and thirteen. He doesn't get this the game's over. Fifty seconds left in the game. I mean, dude, just off day, dude. Like the delay route. Oh my god, we Always remember the delay route, but we're under 30 seconds. He needs eight points. Remember, boys, eight two slants, points. a delay route, and a running back route. That this is out. This is what I'm losing to right now. Two slants, a delay route. Like you, like this got to be a joke right now, man. 26 seconds. He has all three timeouts, so he can do any play in the playbook. Uh, right here, he runs with the quarterback, like, bro, takes a hit, down. and gets a Dude, first. This is miserable, man. We gotta hold on, boys. Three timeouts left. He's going to try to run. Oh, you really just ran for your tournament life. Oh, another run. No timeouts left. Last play of the game. Thank you, man. Holy sh**. Just fall down. Get it over with, man. If you would have threw it up a guy, it was a touchdown. The guy on the flat was a touchdown. Oh, my God, dude. GG's, buddy. I mean, that was miserable, man. That was just... All right, boys. We got through that one survived but i told you man it's not about who you're playing how many times you beat them are you a favorite is this person bad you got to put your best effort out there on the field he ran the ball he kept the ball short he completed passes as did i that game was fast really fast i mean as much as you see other people scoring 30 and 40 points in man 22 
when it when the game gets tired and people are running the clock is moving it goes fast and that game wound up being 17 to 17 to 8 i believe so or 17 to 9 yeah 17 to 9 so it was short we both had three or four possessions you got to make the most of them got to score there inside the five and I kicked that field goal to go up eight because I didn't think he was an offensive juggernaut. And if he would have went down the field, got a touchdown and a two-pointer to tie in the clutch, I would have tipped my cap and gladly went to overtime with him. So I just made it so he had to do the most possible to tie the game. That, that was my goal. Uh, but we survived. We got it done. Put up a good fight, man. The kid needs to keep grinding, keep putting his best foot forward, and he'll make him something of himself in this man game. So like I said, a 1,000 likes. We'll post the next round because it just keeps getting sweatier.